What Asian languages have you studied to now? So I've been living in Thailand for five years, so Thai. I've been translating Chinese, so Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Indonesian, and Vietnamese. Okay. Yeah. So I have the same languages. We yeah. also have Lao. Uh, I studied it, so you about said. two weeks. Okay. But I probably didn't go to Lao, so have you been to Lao? Any, Lao? any Burmese or Khmer? No. Oh, Khmer. Paisa Khmer. There's a number of misconceptions. Yeah, that definitely. has to do with difficulty. I don't think it's a misconception if you say that it's hard to learn to read and write Japanese and Chinese. Yeah. That's very challenging. I consider Japanese harder than Chinese. Same here, yeah. And I can give you a lot of reasons for it. <laughs> but the Korean hunger doesn't take that long to Yeah, learn. you can learn that. I guess explain. going down the line, Thai would be the next challenge to write. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's put the writing system aside. Okay. Now, which grammars do you think are the easiest for, let's say, a European speaker? Vietnamese, Thai, and... Lao. Lao, yeah, those are similar. And then, yeah, Chinese and, of course, Japanese, Korean would be the hardest, gram grammatically speaking. One video I made shows that Vietnamese, Korean, and Japanese, since they all were writing at one time or another, and Japanese still do, which yeah. are the Chinese ones, in the Chinese characters, they have a lot of shared vocabulary. Yeah, definitely. Did you find that useful? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I will never, in Vietnamese, I would never learn a word if I didn't know where it came from. Right. I would look at where it came from. Usually, I would know right away. Right. So you, you don't, you're you actually can remember not that way. Yeah. You can guess words. Yeah, you okay? guess. You can guess what the word would be mm -hmm. by knowing the uh, character pronunciation. The only real hard one is Japanese, where we have so many different readings for the yeah, characters. Yeah, that, that was a, yeah. one annoying aspect. Mm -hmm. but. I, I think if you really master the, the characters first, and then you start exploring other languages, it's yeah. No, a lot that's of time. a big challenge to master the characters. Uh, yeah. I, which is what I did, I actually started learning Japanese in Poland. Oh yeah. And so I learned hiragana, katakana, and uh, yeah, I, the rest of the vocabulary I picked up usually uh, written in Romaji in the, hmm. in the Latin alphabet. Uh, because it, it gets kind of boring reading the Hiragana Katakana. Now that I've been speaking this language most of my life, 23 yeah. years, and became a Japanese citizen, uh, I find it much easier to read with text that has a lot of characters. Yeah, it definitely. Of, yeah, it's, it's too slow to read with yeah, Hiragana yeah, yeah. Katakana. So I there's agree. that over there. Getting back to the grammar, mm -hmm. so have you noticed that since they don't have tense yeah. in those languages coming down the road from China, right? Vietnamese. Uh, Thai, Lao, Indonesian, Malay. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed that makes it easier for you to express yourself in those languages? They have the same way of... I, I feel when I'm thinking of a concept, yeah, so when I learned Thai, I already spoke Chinese, so yeah, I would always think of it from a Chinese point of view. Instead okay, of so Chinese is your first stepping stone? Uh, I, well, I learned Korean first, but I would say Chinese was, my Chinese was better when I started Thai. Right. But yeah, even when I learned Vietnamese, I would still think in Chinese. Yeah. Not only because of the vocabulary, but also because of the grammar. Right, right. Like, like mm -hmm. I have one example, like, sai, uh, the ersheng, like sai. But then in, Chi in uh, Vietnamese, it's like mui, yeah. mui. Yeah. And then those are exactly the same, like, grammatically speaking, it's like almost the same usage. Right, right. So I would yeah. think, like, always try to think like that from, from... So everybody, what we're saying is that there are no inflections, meaning verbs don't change in those languages, like Chinese all the way down to Indonesia. But they do in... Korean and Japanese, Japanese but yeah. not but not per person. There's no conjugation yeah. per person. Uh, politeness <laughs> level, yeah. aspect, uh, etc. Okay, so a lot of people say that Indonesian, for example, or Malay, yeah. is simple. Do you think so? Um, I would say yeah. If you're if we're comparing it to other Asian languages, definitely. If you're coming from a Western uh, native language, but uh, yeah, you you learn it from a book, but then you'll have the problem when people speak. It'll probably be a little bit different. But yeah. you really, I mean, you have to master, okay. I would say okay. master the more So you language. study Indonesian and you found it not hard to study. Yeah. Okay, there's an age difference here. Mm -hmm. So what do you think that impact, how that impact me when I learned Indonesian Malay? Mm. I, I, I had to use was, a dictionary. Yeah. <laughs> how do you use a dictionary with Indonesian uh, Malay? When did you start learning Indonesian? Uh, 1981. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so. No computers, no use computers. a dictionary. So, but maybe the language wouldn't have changed as much either. No, no, but the thing is, they have roots. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't know the root, you can't look at the word. So yeah. you see, it says Balajar, and you go to B, and it's not there. You see Bengaji, you go to uh, M, yeah, it's not that there. That is one problem with okay. the formal and informal. Right, yeah. so you have to know it's Ajar, and you go to Ajar, and everything's under yeah, Ajar. Yeah, 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 no, okay. I agree with that. Yeah, okay, when you say uh, Chinese, mm -hmm. computers existed? 
When I study, yeah, definitely. So I have to know the radical and the stroke order. Yeah. So now it's much easier to learn these languages. <laughs> so no excuses, get out, get out, go. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> really. Let's say that somebody decided they were going to learn the, what we call in Japanese, kanji ken or, or hanzi chen, mm -hmm. or East Asian cultural sphere. Okay, yeah. any, any form of Chinese, Again, and Vietnamese, Japanese, and Korean. Which one you go for first? Oh, first, I cannot say Japanese. I feel like that's the hardest. Yeah. Uh, I would say Chinese. I think people, people need to think of it as two languages. You have the written form and then the spoken form. And if you think of it like that, and the time you have to invest, it just makes, makes it like easier, right? Yeah. If you're thinking about, oh, it's going to take me so long. Well, it's two languages. So they will coalesce after you put enough time into them. Right. But that's how I feel like. Yeah, I mean, you can get people who speak Chinese quite well, but they can't read. Yeah, so it's yeah, like, yeah. just put in the time to learn the characters at first, and then yeah. all the languages yeah. will be easier after. Yeah, exactly, because when we're talking about, you know, those four languages that have sign of vocabulary, the sign of vocabulary are based on the combination of characters, usually two. Yeah. Uh, can be three in some cases. There's all false cognates. Yeah. Okay, so I think some strange ones are for Chinese when they come to Japan, and yes. they go to a hot springs. Yeah. And what do they see? They, they see uh, female soup and male soup. Ah, yeah, yeah, tang, tang. <laughs> the, <laughs> because tang is just, that's the, the, just you, that's hot water you, for you, us. Yeah, oh, you, yeah, it's not just you, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I actually didn't think about that, yeah. Or, or they walk by a post office box and they see cut your hand mm. and the toilet paper. Anyway, uh, yeah, I encourage everybody to go out and, and try these Asian languages. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of synergy. Mm -hmm. in the vocabulary amongst those four. And then even Thai. Do you mm -hmm. notice how Thai sounds like Cantonese when you when you say the numbers? No. Uh, well, I, don't, I don't know Cantonese, but I, did, oh, okay. I think you mentioned that the other okay, day. Okay, but what about Korean? When you say, how do you say 20 in Korean? Isip. Okay, yeah. I say in Thai. Yeah, Isip. Okay. Isip song. So, yeah. yeah, there's so a lot of definitely. Uh, Lao, Thai, Vietnamese, and the Chinese language, you have some tones we have to deal with. But yeah, you can do it. that though. bad. Yeah. And then in Japanese, we have pitch. Okay, but you can get by without knowing At how to first, do the right the pitch. Yeah. yeah, and then Korean, no problem. No, Korean, pretty yeah, easy pronunciation. And then Indonesian, Malay, very straightforward. Maybe start with that if you. Yeah, <laughs> that's the starter pack, right? Yeah. Okay.